I decided to take this video in order to help those of you who still have some questions on performing regression in Minitab. First off, I've uploaded some data to the pages page on regression analysis. So if you go to Courses, Applied Statistics, and then you click on Pages, and then you go over to Regression Analysis, Dash Simple, Example number two has some data on waist inches, weight in pounds, and body fat percentage. So you're just going to highlight this data and you're going to drop it into Minitab. After you've dropped it into Minitab, what you'll do is you'll go to Graph, because let's just graph the data and look, see what it looks like. So you'll select Scatter Plot, and then select the width regression option. Double click on the weight, that's going to be our response variable, and waste, which will be our x variable or our predictor variable. So we're going to see if we can predict weight based on waist in inches. Then you're just going to click on OK, and that's going to give you a scatter plot. So it looks like as waist is increasing in inches, weight is increasing in pounds. The next thing what we want to do is let us perform a regression. So you're going to go over to Stat, scroll down to Regression, and click on Regression. That's going to open up this regression dialog box. So let's have weight be the response variable and waist be the predictor variable. The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I add the residuals versus fits residual individual plot. So a residual is equal to the actual data point minus the predicted data point. I'll go into that in a little bit more detail after we've looked at the residuals. Um, for right now, just click on OK. And then you can ignore these other three buttons for now. Let's just click OK. So that's going to give us this extra plot. Let's first look at this session window first. Um, there's some information here called analysis of variance. That's something that we'll go into after we've discussed hypothesis testing. But what we have, see if we go back up here, um, so if you just scroll up from there, above analysis of variance, here's the regression equation. So it's weight equals minus 32.1 plus 5.96 waist in inches. So if you put in the number of inches uh, the waist is, you're going to get an associated weight out. So this is called the regression equation or the prediction equation. This constant here and the coefficient, that's going to be your y-intercept. Waist in inches, the 5.9556, that corresponds to the slope of the regression line. Okay. So there's this other variable here called R square, and then there's a second variable R square adjusted. I'm going to go into that in a little bit more detail afterwards. Let's go to the residuals. So you'll notice um, somewhere here we lost our scatter plot. So that's probably down here. So let's restore that. Okay. So we've got our scatter plot and we've got our residuals. First off, um, I want to look at uh, this data point right here. Uh, this is the first data point that I have, so this is going to be 32 inches and 175 pounds. So if I go to 32 inches, and, and just so you know, there's also this other 32 and 168, so I just want to make sure that I'm using the 32, 175. So, that would correspond to 32 inches, go up here to 175. Okay, and it just tells me um, that it's symbol uh, one, uh, sim rather symbol row one, waist 32 inches, weight 175. Okay, so if we look, that this is the actual, this right here is the actual value. 
This blue line here represents your regression equation. So this is your predicted uh, equation or prediction equation. So it looks like this value here uh, is, well, if we put in 32 into um, the waste equation here, we would get 32 times 5.9. Let's just round the 5.9 to 6. So 32 times 6 is going to be 192. And then 192 minus the y-intercept of 32 is going to put us around 160. So this value here corresponds to 160. So that's going to be my predicted value. Whereas this value up here is going to be the actual value, which is 175. So the residual, which is actual minus predicted, would be equal to 175 minus 160, or 15. So that means that if I go to the fitted value, which is 160, or pretty close to 160, I should say, I should see the fitted value of 160, or in this case, it's actually going to be 158. And I also notice that here it says that res the residual value is 16.4. So that was, that was pretty close to what we had said the residual was of um, roughly 15 or, or 16. So the residual of that, the, this graph here, the residual fit graph, is telling you the distance in the y direction of the error. And what we're going to do is we're going to call error, in this case, the residual value. So if you have a point that's very close to this line, this line here, this blue line, has now been transformed into this horizontal line. So all we're doing is we're taking this vertical distance and we're just converting it um, into the distance above the x-axis, where in this case the x-axis is the prediction equation. So this, again, this blue line is this black line here. And so the vertical distance corresponds to the actual residual value. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the shape of these residuals relative to the prediction equation. So what we'll do is we'll see whether or not this residual graph here has any discernible pattern. If there's no discernible pattern, then it would seem to indicate that the scatter plot is a good scatter plot. Whereas if there is a discernible pattern, and we'll go into what kinds of discernible patterns there are, then it could indicate that the residuals, or rather the residuals are indicating that the scatter plot might not be a great fit.